Okay, here's another Farmall F20 video. And uh, this one, I just wanted to show everybody how I uh, do a little bit of cleaning. And I've been working on the uh, rear end of the, the tractor. And uh, as you can see, I'll, I'll kind of pan up and down here. It's kind of bad lighting in here. But uh, as I move up and down, you can see the light change where I've cleaned and where I haven't cleaned. I, I've kind of stopped right here. Anything below that's still dirty. And then, of course, there's that line right there. Anything on that side is still dirty. Um, I've taken it down to semi bare metal. I'm not going to worry about a little bit of this paint. This whole area was, was paint um, before I started. And uh, it was kind of rough and it had been coated several times. But uh, I'm about done with it right there. Uh, it's smooth enough and blended in where I can clean it up and paint it. Now the three main weapons I've been using, I uh, chucked this into a 3 8 DeWalt drill that I have. First I hit it with this, which is a cone brush. And it's not twisted or anything, just regular old wire wheel cone brush. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll run that forward and go over it lightly. And then I'll turn it into reverse and run it over the whole thing in reverse. And that seems to get all the heavy crud off of everywhere. And once I'm done with that, then I go ahead and replace it with this four inch wire wheel. And that's a pretty common one. And that's what I use to get down in places like in here or around nuts or you know into these this groove down here. Uh, it just gets into crevices a little better. And I'll run over the whole thing. It'll, it'll uh, get rid of whatever's left. And then when I come down to places that I have paint or uh, little rough spots or whatever, I'll use this little guy. Now what it is is just a uh, stiff rubber backing and a sanding disc on it. And I got these when I was in the Marine Corps uh, about 1985 or so. And it's got a little clip that just snaps right in to that uh, rubber backing. I've got uh, several different sizes here. I don't know if you can see them, but there, there's several different sizes in there. And I've also got several different sizes of mandrels too. I've got them all the way down to, oh, probably three quarters of an inch wide. But uh, I'll use that to cut any rough spots out. And, and like I said, any, any uh, paint that needs smoothing, I'll, I'll smooth that out with it. But uh, I just thought before the light got too bad in here, I'd uh, go ahead and show you progress on that. Uh, before I do paint it, I'll uh, wipe it down first with a dry rag, and then I'll take some rubbing alcohol and uh, rub it down with that and make sure that all the dirt and, and you know, any oil or any grime is, is uh, off so it doesn't uh, affect the paint. But... Uh, that's uh, a little bit about how I do it.